Panox is a company founded in 1992. The head office is in the technological park of Vizcaya in the north of Spain. Fanax is specialist in the design and manufacturing of protection relays for low and medium voltage. In the medium voltage, the family of self-powered relays stand out. Fanax offers a wide range to cover all the needs of the market and all the requirements of the customers. If we speak about self-powering, the first question that comes to mind is why do self-powered protections appear? These protections arise to solve two undeniable facts. The first one is that the RMUs with fuses are being substituted for RMUs with circuit breaker. These last ring main units don't have auxiliary power, so the use of a self-powered protection is essential. The second reason is the lack of maintenance in the transformation center due to three main motives. The first one is the lack of access of some of the transformation centers. Some of them are buried or in areas of difficult access. The second one is that approximately 50% of the transformation centers are purchased by individuals that ignore the maintenance routine of these centers. Finally, the third reason is the lack of qualified personnel. Power companies have qualified personnel, but their labors of maintenance are focused on the primary distribution centers, leaving transformation centers as a subsidiary task. How do the self-powered relays work? Self-powered relays power themselves by using the primary current of the transformation center through the current transformers. This is, the primary current to feed the center besides being measured is used to obtain the energy to supply the protection relays. Fanox offers a wide range of self-powered relays. The first classification is related with the transformers, depending on if relays work with the standard CTs or specific CTs. What is a standard transformer? Standard transformers use a secondary equal to 1 ampere or 5 amperes. In this group, SIAC relays stand out. Why? Which feature does it offer? Not only it works with standard transformers, it also offers a very low consumption. This fact allows the transformers to have a low burden. If we are working with a secondary of 1 ampere, the burden will go around 2.5 VAs. In case of transformers with secondary current equal to 5 amperes, the burden will go around 5 VAs. The other group of FANOX self-powered relays work with specific transformers. What is a specific transformer? Specific transformers provide a special characteristic regarding the standard transformers. For example, a higher saturation level, a wider measure range, or double core. In this group, a second classification should be done. SIAA relay belongs to this group. CIAA relay works with double core transformers. This is, these transformers have two separated cores with different constitutive materials. This allows the use of one core for measure and the other one for self-powering. What do we get with this characteristic? We get that our Fanox relay can start up from really low current, 4 amperes approximately. The other big family of self-powered relays that works with specific transformers is SIAB. This relay works with specific transformers that are already implemented in the market and, the, and they are used by other self-powered relay manufacturers. Which special feature does the combination of this specific transformer plus SIAB relay offer? This relay has a really low consumption, so it is possible to start up very fast, offering a very short time onto fault. Besides, the use of these transformers, which are characterized by having a wide range of measure, allows Fanux to adapt to all its clients. Which opening mechanism will be used with self-powered relays? This is the next question that comes to mind. We know that self-powered relays do power themselves from the primary current, and the energy is scarce, so an efficient management of this energy is indispensable. Due to this situation, using coils is not viable because they have a very high electrical consumption. Instead of the coils, strikers are used. What is a striker? A striker is a simple element. It consists on an electromagnet that is charged when the breaker is closed. To trip, it required low energy, 100 millijoules approximately. Which is the problem of the striker? Or which is the most complicated aspect related to the strikers? Their correct selection. Why? In the market, there is a wide range of strikers depending on the needs of the clients.
We confine the simplest strikers of 6 volts till the most complex of 24 volts, so a correct selection of the striker is essential. What advantages do Fanox relays offer? Fanox relays are able to trip all the strikers offered by the market. That way we can give support to all our clients about this issue. Once the working of the striker has been understood, the next question that comes to mind is, is it possible to use a self-powered relay in a cell where a coil is installed instead of a striker? The answer is yes, it is possible to install the relay, but an additional device is required. This additional device will give the sufficient energy to trip the coils. Fanox offers amongst its products the TCM adapter. TCM is an energy accumulator and it is used to trip the coil instead of the striker. How does TCM work? It is a simple device that is connected to the trip contact of our relay and it can be charged before the installation or once the device is installed, if in the installation auxiliary supply is available. The charging time is 10 seconds approximately and once the power supply is lost, the TCM has three days of autonomy. How can we check the correct installation of the self-powered relay? Because of the lack of auxiliary power, it seems that the only way to verify this fact is once the relay has been installed. However, this method could be dangerous. Why? Because if a fault situation occurs and in the relay something is not correct, the transformation center would not be protected. To solve this situation, Fanox offers a Kitcom. The Kitcom is an external battery that works with two batteries AA type. It is connected to the front port of the relay to power it. Because the relays can have DBP port or USB port, there is a Kitcom for each situation. Once the Kitcom is connected to DB9 port and the switch that it offers is pressed, we could supply and switch the relay on. This fact, together with the possibility of doing a test menu, lets us check not only the hardware of the relay, but also the outputs and the trip circuit. That way we'll, we will check everything is correct before the transformation center is powered up. Which are the advantages of Fanox self-powered relays against the competition? Firstly, it's low consumption and it's pickup from very low current values. Besides, very fast pickup that allows the relays to have a very short trip onto fault time. Our, all our self-powered relays have flags or magnetic by stables. These elements change their position when a fault situation occurs and maintain their position even though there is no power supply. That way, checking the fault situation is practically instantaneous seeing the relay. Fanox self-powered relays have non-volatile RAM memories. What does this fact imply? All the events and fault reports recorded during the relay working are permanently registered in the relay. Besides, the combination with real-time clocks let the events and fault reports be recorded with time and data synchronization. This is, they are recorded with the time and date when they were registered. Finally, it is important to mention one of the main features of Fanox self-powered relays. They don't have any internal battery. Why? Because self-powering concept is very clear to Fanox. Self-powered relays are relays totally maintenance-free.